Hey YouTube, I'm down in a little corner here, just trying out. It's a little bit complicated trying to set up a recording of my screen uh, while recording my screen for Ecamm Live to go out. So this video is going to show you how to call someone on Skype and bring them into your Ecamm Live setup. So just so you can see what I've got going here, I've got Ecamm Live running. I have got, well so far I guess, but I've got Farago running just for some soundboard. <laughs> fun in case we need that. And then I've also got Skype uh, with my friend Justin Jackson who I'm going to call. Before I get anything going, I've got some scenes set up in Ecamm Live. Nothing too fancy. Um, my desktop uh, coming soon screen holder, placeholder thing. Just me if I wanted to just have me going uh, on the screen. And uh, you can see that that's yeah, coming. I have my FaceTime camera and then I also have my HD Logitech C920 camera. Both of those, sometimes uh, Ecamm Live defaults to the FaceTime camera. Um, I've turned it off as an option in the switcher so I don't accidentally switch to it when I'm doing a stream. But uh, that's there. The chat window, I think, is was supposed to be a Safari view of Restream. That's how I stream things out. So today I'm going to stream it to YouTube and Mixer and Periscope, but not good stuff, let's say. And then I can launch the chat app in another window. So it's ready to go. Restream basically allows you to stream to it from Ecamm Live and then go out to multiple platforms at once because Ecamm can only choose one platform to go to. Um, so we'll see if that's going to work in a bit here. Um, I'm not too worried about the actual live stream today. Just want to record something for you guys. So on this, I have also got a scene set up with a Skype chat, which is only available if Skype is running. And uh, and then you can see that it has a split screen here where I've got myself obviously on the left and my Skype friend on the right. So I'm going to try calling Justin. Hopefully this all works and behaves nicely. We'll see what happens. So it's ringing to him. Hey, Justin. <laughs> So what I've got going, I'm just recording Justin, as you know. So I've got now in Ecamm Live, so Skype, I'm just showing you Skype right now. I can do whatever I want in Skype. I can have Justin full screen or, or whatever in Skype. You can just, once you got the call going, you're good. You leave that alone, obviously. Make sure you can hear each other, etc. Now within Ecamm Live, where I've got myself on the left, Justin on the right. Justin, you don't see anything. Nor on your end, Skype just looks like Skype. You have no idea that I'm restreaming or doing any live stuff, anything, right? So on my end, I can then switch with Ecamm Live, I can click on his thumbnail here and make it go full screen Justin. So if it's, you know, if he's talking, I'm not, I want to be able to do something, maybe fix my nose or whatever, uh, then I can go full screen on him. I can click on myself so that Justin can then go fix his makeup or whatever. And uh, when he's not talking, if you're you know, sort of doing back and forth and then shift click on both of us. So then we're both back side by side. Pretty simple. Uh, but very powerful in terms of how easy it makes it to do like a two up or I think you can do three or four even within Ecamm Live. I forget. I haven't tried that. I'm scared to try anything more than just two, I think. <laughs> yeah, like you do a three person call. Actually, now that I think about it, maybe I did do it on the YouTube podcast once, but I think the other guy was just audio only. He didn't have video. He's on a low internet connection, but so it, it just presents another thumbnail. So just like here, if I hover over it, there would just be a third window there and you can again, click through them or shift click and add all of them together and just keep bumping them up, making them smaller and putting them side by side. Other than that, that's really, as far as like setting up Ecamm, it's that simple. You just have to have Skype running in order for the Skype overlay or the Skype scene to show up in your menu as an option. And then uh, call the person or people on a video call on Skype and you're good to go. So just to demo this, make sure it actually works. We're going to actually go live to a few places and we'll see if Restream behaves and if Ecamm behaves. So Restream allows you to a bit quickly... Uh, here, we'll just do testing out Ecamm Live with Justin Jackson again. Update all. Maybe I hit enter. So that should update all the uh, various channels that it goes out to. For this show, anyways, I'm using Loopback to set up a Ecamm Live source as my mic. So normally this would actually be your microphone that you would choose, your my, in my case, the Scarlett 18.8 USB whatever thing. What this allows me to do, because I have that set up, I can do like the really loud obnoxious sound effects I guess I can turn that down <laughs> See? Uh. oh there we go that's the uh, sound effect from the last uh, build your sass episode <laughs> so that allows me to basically pull in I'll do a loopback demo another time because it I, I think if I open it up right now it's gonna crash my whole computer for some reason it seems to be um, 
But uh, basically, that allows me to set a source for audio where I can bring in multiple audio f- or multiple apps audio into one single source. Because what Ecamm Live does not allow you to do is have choose, like, say, a piece of software on your computer as the sound source. It's just kind of whatever your computer happens to be showing on screen. Um, I could do like what I've done often when I start before I start a. Uh, a live stream is use this. I have made this looping intro. So Justin's going to disappear. We're both going to disappear and it's going to record, play some video. Technically right now, Justin's audio is actually still going. It mutes my mic automatically. So I'd have to actually drag down his audio. And then I can adjust the volume of the movie that's going out. And then flip back live. So Justin, you don't see any of that, right? Or you don't hear anything. You didn't, did you even hear me talking there? Okay. Yeah. So you'd still, your guests would still get, obviously, you know, you could talk to them. The live stream doesn't hear any of that. And, uh, so there's, I would just put my own comment in, which sends a message out from within, uh, restream out to all the platforms. So the same message goes out as if it's my account on Periscope. I'm using Mixer. I'm using YouTube right now. Then any of these, these are, would be all the chat messages that are coming in and I can click on any of them to add to the broadcast like that. And again, Justin doesn't see that. Your guest, whoever it might be, doesn't see that in the on their version of the the stream. They're just again seeing just Skype, so they're kind of blind to it, like Justin said. All right. So uh, if anybody's watched this far in the video, how can they find you if they're curious about this mega T-shirt guy? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching wherever you happen to be in the world. If you have questions about Ecamm Live, uh, throw them in the comments below. If you're on YouTube, especially where this video will live on beyond the live stream that happens to be happening right now. Uh, but lemonproductions.ca is my website and that'll link you to obviously everything. I just re- revamped it for a focus on podcasting and, and related fun stuff like this. I need a consulting call sometime. I'm doing one tomorrow with a guy from Australia. So uh, it's going to be fun. Hopefully he has a really good accent. That's what uh, I, I should give a discount if you have a really good accent for consulting calls from around the world. Anyways, lemonproductions.ca, you can check that out. And if you, lemonproductions.ca slash hire is where you can get right to like a booking a consulting call with me if you, you're so inclined. And uh, thanks for watching. Thanks, Justin.